Hi and welcome to Crafty Ladybug. Today's tutorial is going to be Sebastian. Sebastian is King Triton's little companion and assistant from the movie The Little Mermaid. So, to begin with Sebastian, you're going to need red and burgundy rubber bands, or if you don't have uh, two different color of reds, you could also use pink as the body and red for his shell and the area markings on his claws or you could also use red and orange. Um, but Sebastian is just, a, it's a multi-layered little guy that we're gonna work on in different pieces. And you will have to hit the pause and rewind button to complete part of this because I have already done one half of his legs. So I have completed half of his legs I'm going to show you how to do them once and you will have to rewind and do it again. So for Sebastian, our loom is set in an offset configuration, arrows pointing towards our body. And as I said, you'll be needing uh, two different shades of reds or coordinating colors that we can use for Sebastian's shell and his body. And also two mini pony beads that are already strung on a band. Read or watch the bead threading video if you need to know how to do the eyes. So that's mini pony beads for the eyes. And we'll begin with Sebastian's legs. We're gonna start with his claw first. And I put all of the legs on one loom one time. So just follow along, hit pause and rewind if you need to through here. We're gonna start with two bands in the center, three bands in the center, three bands in the center, switch to a burgundy, one single burgundy, double twist, and placed in the center. And the next bands are going to be single bands, double twisted. So single red, double twist from left to center, single band, double twist, center to right single band, double twist, center, single band, double twist, on the left, coming straight down, single band, double twist, on the right, coming straight down, and this next one, we're going to form a kind of odd diamond shape, single band, double twist, from the left diagonal to the center. You want to complete that transition there. And this is what's making the inner portion of our claw. Single band, double twist, center to right. Push those down slightly. And then single band, double twist, and come down the loom. One, two times on the left. Single band, double twist, come down the loom. Two times on the right. I missed that one. band double twist and now we need to cap off these ends with a four time cap band one two three four four time cap band on the other side one two three four time cap band we're going to skip the center peg and on the next peg we're going to do two bands just right here in between the claws. You don't want them touching the other points of the claws. And this is just forming one of our legs. One band double twist. One band double twist. One band double twist. One band double twist. And a four time cat band here. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to move over to these available pegs right here. And it's going to be two bands. One band double twist. One band double twist. One band double twist. And a four time cat band on this one. One, two, three, 
and four. It's another leg. And then we're going to finish this little short back leg over here on these available pegs. And you're going to go skip um, a peg again and go two bands. One band double twist. One band double twist. And can we guess what's going to go on that one? It's a four time cat band. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to begin to loom our creation, or should I say crustacean, since he's a little crab. And we're just going to start off by looming the short leg, which will be his back leg. And then you want to take that off the loom using a toothpick. And we just want to set this aside, straighten it up a little bit, and we're going to set that aside. And then we're going to move over to his leg that's one band longer. And this will form one of his middle legs. And I just use the same toothpick just to slide it in there and grab that leg off the loom and straighten that up a little bit. And we're going to loop and loom the longer leg. And then we're going to do the fun part of the claw or the pinchers in a moment. And this is just basic, straightforward single chain looping. Nothing hard or complex about this one. And that's going to give us a third leg. So we've got all three legs here. And then we just need to add the um, pincher claw onto that in just a moment or two. And for the pincher claw, you're going to reach in on the left and we're going to loom forward once. And we're going to loom forward twice. And then we're going to reach in and we're going to grab that diagonal and go towards the center. And we're going to pick back up here on the left forward once. And we're going to reach into that diagonal and go to the center. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. We're going to loop forward once, loop forward twice, reach in for your diagonal. And I picked up my bottom bands on that one. Reach in for a diagonal and go to the center. Come forward once, reach into the diagonal, go to the center. Do not forget to get your center band now. Don't forget to get your center band or your little claw is going to fall apart and you're going to be mad at me. You're probably already mad at me because I did double twist bands. So, But that's how I just got Sebastian's hand so little. His claw so little. And now I'm just reaching in to grab that burgundy band that I had down there. Straight forward looping here. I like to hold with my thumb. I like to hold my loom together and hold down the bands that I'm working on. So here we have got Sebastian's claw, and for his claw, you want to take a, another toothpick and just slide that in there. And I use the back of my hook to take these things off because you don't want your bands to snap, and there's a lot of tension on a few of these. So just use your hook, back of your hook, or a wooden skewer if you, you're using the Rainbow Loom hook. And here we have got a claw for Sebastian. And we have got his other legs. And you guys want to pause the video here, pause now, rewind to where I began the legs, and we're going to do another set of legs. You need two sets of legs. So you want to make sure that you have got um, eight legs total, two pincher claws, and then um, the three smaller legs. So you have to do that step again. So pause, rewind, get your legs. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're called back up. 
you should have your set of legs done, your extra set of legs. And now we're going to be working on Sebastian's body. And for Sebastian's body, we're going to be needing eight of these little guys done. I've already done mine, but we're gonna need eight of these done. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. This is a red band or the dark color that you're using. Um, I'm sorry, the, the red is the color I'm using for his body. So we wanna take the darker color or burgundy in my case, and we're going to be looping it onto a single red band to form eight of these little guys. So in order to do that, you take your darker color for a shell and you're going to loop it around your hook four times. One, two, three, four. And then take your red, which is your body color, not your shell color, your body color, and you're going to be pulling that through. And you're gonna set that aside. You need to do this eight times and just set those aside in a little pile. So once again, pause the video and make yourself eight of those little guys. Now we've got our video paused and we can begin by making our Sebastian. And to begin Sebastian, there are quite a few steps, more steps once we get to the shell area and we will go through those together we're going to start Sebastian off with a single band from left to center, center to right, a single band center down in the face. These are all single bands up here. Single band on the left, single band on the left, single band on the right, single band on the right, single band in the center, single band in the center and a single band finishing out the diagonal from the right a single band finishing out that diagonal from the left now we're going to work on his uh, chest area and for the chest area we're going to be using a single band from left to center a single band from right to center and now I'm going to finish out the outside first before I lay the inside. Your next band is going to be one of the little guys that you figured out, figured up with the burgundy on it. That's going to go left and down. Nope. I'm, my apologies. I need to take that back off. I'm not ready for that step yet. I'm sorry guys, I'm not ready for that step yet. I have to do this back portion of, of his shell right here next. And you wanna do this before we lay our horizontals coming down. So for that area, we're going to be switching to burgundy. And you're going to be taking a single band, wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, four. Another single burgundy, wrap it around your hook four times. One, two, three, four and then for this particular one we're going to be sliding a burgundy band take your burgundy band and you're going to slide these other burgundies right over so we got two of our little four twists on it and then that is going to be placed on the bands that you just laid in between your diagonals so that was four time band and a four time band pulled through and laid across horizontally. This is going to form the outside of our shell. Now we can take our little red and burgundy bands and we can lay that on the left. And I'm struggling with this one today. Sorry guys. And then we're going to take another one of those little guys that we made and we're going to do that on the right. And now we're going to switch to make the second portion of his shell. And this time it's going to be three burgundy bands and then one burgundy pulled through. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. So that was three four time bands. And then we're going to scoot those onto a burgundy. Just slide those right over onto your burgundy. And we're going to lay our burgundy piece right across in a horizontal fashion and just kind of stretch them out just a little bit, even them out. We're going to take our little creative guy that we did with the red and the burgundy twist on it and go one down on the left and we're going to go one down on the right. Okay, <clears throat> and the next step is going to be another three time. Go on twice. No, I'm sorry, three time, four band, four twist, three times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one band with all these guys on it. I miss that one. One, two, three, four. Struggling with this one, sorry about that. And just slide those down over your hook. My hook wants to catch them today. And then we're going to be placing this in a horizontal fashion straight across. And we're going to do something just a little bit different right here. We need to do this step again and lay it directly on top. And that's just going to finish off my shell better. It's going to give me another line to put in the middle of my shell here. Where my sample doesn't have it, but ours will when we're finished. So it'll be three more bands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And pull that through onto our burgundy. And as I said, if I'm going too fast, pause, catch up. And we're going to lay that across those bands again. Okay. Now we're able to lay our red and burgundy on the left, our red and burgundy on the right, and we have to do that step again, but this time we're only doing two bands of burgundy pulled onto the single band for the bottom half of the shell. One, two, three, four. We're almost done this part, guys. One, two, three, four and pull those over onto that single band. Pull those over onto that single band and place that right there. Spread those out just slightly. And now we need to go from left to center with our red and burgundy piece, left to center and center to right, and this is going to form a diagonal. Push those down slightly. And now we need to lay the center, and the center is going to be a little different. We're doing one band from our gathering point up here, down the center, and then we're doing two bands, two bands, and two bands. Now we can begin to lay our horizontal bands for Sebastian and we're going to start off with the bottom as a cat band in your burgundy or your shell color and that's going to be three times. One, two, three. I don't need to lay, um, or do I? Bear with me one second. Let me dissect my little critter here. Yes, I do. I need to lay a horizontal band here 
and above that and above that and these are just single forming a triangle right there okay and we're going to go ahead and do a space two while we're at it and this is going to be a single band there it's going to be a double twist band up here one band double twisted to form the triangle and then we're going to take his eyes and we're going to do it on the top left underneath the center to the top right and that's where Sebastian's eyes are going to sit and we're going to place the legs in the pinchers so for our pinchers you're going to do that on the top peg on the left a set of pinchers on the top leg on the left and then we're going to do our larger leg our longer leg on the left and then we're going to do our next length of leg shorter leg on the left and his little teeny back leg on the left and we're going to do his right and I got a turn loom so I can do his right so it'll be pincher at the top and if you took them off in the length in, in the length that they are the longest being the next it makes things just a little easier Long, shorter and this one fell off my little thing and shortest little back leg okay so there's our legs on Sebastian and now we are ready to loom we've got pretty basic simple looming until we get up to the cheek area here and then we're going to be adding in another layer so let's begin by looping through our cat band grabbing those top two bands and they're coming up towards the center because they were the last ones that we laid and I had a problem getting two I only grabbed one so I just need to reach in there and grab my second one Sorry about that guys. There's my two in the center. And actually if you want to loop the center, um, we're gonna loop the center last actually. We're gonna do that first one though, and then we're gonna reach into the right and grab the single band going to the right. And we're gonna loop up our right side. You wanna reach through the leg, through the burgundy band, and you wanna grab that bottom single red band with the little burgundy piece on it and come straight forward. You're going to do the same thing coming all the way up the right side. We're reaching through to grab the bottom red band that's got our little piece of burgundy attached to it. Come straight forward. And I'm just scooting up my burgundy band a little bit closer to the front peg. Reach in beyond the burgundy band. And that's going to be a little tricky for some of you is getting that last red band. You don't want to grab your burgundy band with it. And we're going to do the same thing here at the diagonal. We're going to reach in and grab that bottom red band and carry it off to the center. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. Single band over to the left. Reach in through all those legs and everything and we want to grab that bottom red band and we want to come straight forward. We want to reach in, grab the bottom red band, and come straight forward. Bottom red again, come straight forward. And diagonal portion, uh, bottom red band, and come over to our diagonal. And then we want to come back down here to the bottom and we want to finish Sebastian's belly portion. So you'll reach in and grab the two bands, reach in, push back those red shelly type of things, and grab your two red bands, 
And then this one here is a single red band. And now we've reached his kind of cheek area, which is actually going to be his throat portion. And we need to reach in here beyond all these ones that we just laid. And we want to grab the top, top one diagonal cheek to the left. The next is the diagonal cheek to the right, if you laid them the same way I did. And the bottom one is going to be your center portion. And we're going to stop right there. And what I want you to do where all of these are, are conjoined together, I want you to take the back of your hook or skewer or a toothpick and just relieve some of that tension right now on all those bands that are there. And we've got to push down those bands and we've got to push down some of his little claw area. So push down these six pegs here. And now we're going to begin to layer from this cheek to the claw area a single band. So from your left cheek down to the claw, down to the claw peg. We're going to do the same thing on the right side from the right cheek down to the claw peg. And then up here we're going to lay one, two, three, peg three to four with a single band. Peg one, two, three, four to five will be a single band. And then we're going to close off this diagonal here with a two time twist. One band, two times, twist twice. And one band, double twist from center to right. And we also need to cap off this band right here in the center, which is going to be peg one, two, three, four, five. Peg five center is going to get a three time cap band. One, two, one, two, three. Peg five in the center gets a three time cap band. Now we need to reach into that cap band and we need to grab that double twist band that's going to go off to the right. And this is going to be the difficult step for most of you because there's a lot of stuff on that peg. So double twist band going off to the right and part of my cat band just slipped so I'm just pushing it back down. So that's a double twist band off to the right. The next will be a double twist band off to the left. And then we need to do our center which is a single band straight forward. And now I'm just going to do our left side. You want to reach down into this left portion and you don't want to reach into where the claw is. You want to just grab that one single band that we just laid on top of that. Be sure not to get anything else underneath and you just want to loom straight forward. Then on the left side we're reaching through that next peg and we're just going to loom straight forward. And left side again, single band straight forward, and left diagonal to the center. And we're going to come over here to the right side, and we're going to do the same thing. We're reaching through this one, two, three, four, number four right, to get just that single band sitting on top. You don't want to reach down into the claw, and you're going to come straight forward. And then we need to reach down through the whole cheek area and we're going to pick up that last band, this band right here. Reach through the whole cheek area, come straight forward. And now we're to the easy part where you're pushing back your horizontal bands. And we're almost done Sebastian. Okay, now we need to come down one, two, three, four. We need to come down four pegs in the center. And you need to grab that top band, single band on the top, and loop it forward. If you forget that loop, your jaw area is going to fall apart. And you're not going to be happy with me. Now, one, two, three, peg three center. Just reach in, there's a single band. 
to center, reach in, single band forward. And our Sebastian is almost done. I've already put a marking on his eyes. Um, I did that with a little Sharpie. I would recommend that you do that at the end, but I just had mine on there before. Reach into your center peg and secure it off with a band. And now we're ready to pull Sebastian off the loom. And as always, I use the back of my hook or a wooden skewer because I don't want it to fall, like I don't want the bands to be super tensed and reach down into that cheek area, especially where the legs are and the claws are. It's very tight in that area. And you just don't want to ruin your little creature that we've spent so much time working on. So I relieve the tension by using the back of my hook. If you don't have the same kind of hook I do, use a wooden skewer. And here we've got our Sebastian. Just tug on his head and his face a little bit. And his back body is right there. And there we go with our Sebastian. If you want your legs to come down more, take your toothpick and on your leg area, like where the two bands are jointed, you just want to pull down on the leg and push up on those two bands. Here's my next leg. Pull down on the leg, pull up on the two bands. Pull down on the leg, up on the two bands. And this claw area, pull up and down on the legs. And that's going to get your Sebastian body to his legs to come down. We'll do the other side. Up on the two bands, down on the leg. Up on the two bands, down on the leg. Up on the two bands, down on the leg. Up on the bands, down on the two legs. And if you want his neck to be up higher, you do the same thing in the neck area. Just pull out the three that are underneath there. Hide your securing band. And there we have our Sebastian, King Triton's loyal companion. And Ariel's kind of babysitter. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed Sebastian and please post pictures on my Facebook page Crafty Ladybug Rainbow Loom Creations and I also have Instagram at Crafty Ladybug. Thank you so much and I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial.